I want to tell you about my experience with, and I'm printing it out instead of saying it so she doesn't go off and so yours don't go off. But before I go on, I want you to know that this is just a blister, so try to ignore it. But a friend of mine was trying to talk us into getting one of these devices, but I'm not that into technology. I don't trust the people behind it. But the more I looked into it, the more I thought, you know, this might save me a lot of headache because in our house, especially in the wintertime, around Christmas, we have about 10 timers that are running Christmas lights and other lights. And so if we have a power outage or daylight savings time or the sun sets a little earlier, a little bit later, I have to go around all 10 timers and adjust them. And I tend to hide these out of the way so people can't see them. So climbing under furniture, it can be a royal nightmare when you have to do all 10. Then I found out that can change these for me right off of my phone. So I thought, this is interesting. But I didn't want to purchase any of the switches that would go into the walls. I didn't want to purchase any of the light bulbs. Um, so what I did is I went online and I got the smart plugs. And this is the type of smart plugs that I got. This is the Gosen brand. And it just fits into the wall and, and it's run by the Wi-Fi signal. So this is what I put around the house. Now let me show you my lights and tell you about my groupings. Outside, I have the outside lights that are running the Christmas lights and there's lights along the driveway. And it's so nice because if it gets dark early, you can tell her to turn these on for you, which around here it gets really dark and really depressing, so it's nice to be able to just instantly have it lit up and you use that darkness almost as a canvas you can paint on with, with lights. This is listed under outside lights and it's also listed under all lights. And it's important that you, that you have groupings so you know how, um, if I tell her to turn on all lights, these will also go on. That light there we hardly ever used until we got a plug on it. That is a corner lamp. That is listed under all lights also. And we have the wreath, we have the hutch, we have that flower arrangement over there, and down the hall we have a hutch down there. Those are listed grouping as a hutch, hutch lights, and they're also under all lights. And you have to ignore this thing here, that's my cat's runway toy there. And in the kitchen we have the grouping kitchen lights, which is the sink light and the cabinet light. And it is so nice, one day I came in here with greasy hands, I've been working on my car, and it was dark in here, and I come walking in, and I knew I couldn't touch a light switch without leaving grease everywhere, so it was so nice to just tell her to turn, <laughs> turn the sink light on, and uh, wash my hands, and I didn't have to touch anything. But that's the kitchen lights, and they're also listed under all lights. Go down the hallway here, into the computer room. That is our computer room light that we never used because it was always a pain to try to find where the switch was. We use it a lot now. Computer room light, all listed under um, all lights. Into the bedroom. These are the bedroom light groups. This is the antique light. That's the small lamp. That's the headboard. They're listed under the bedroom lights and they're also listed under all lights. And by listing them under all lights, I can give her a command. I can say, let there be light, and everything will come on. I can tell her, good night, and everything will go off, which is really sweet. Because if you hear a bump in the night, and you want some, some light, you just say, let there be light. Now, we do not have the big devices. All we are using is the Echo Dots. We've got one down here. And we've got one in the living room. Also in the morning as a routine, I will usually tell her to turn the small lamp on as I'm laying here waking up. And I'll also tell her to turn that corner lamp on as I'm waking up. This is the living room Echo Dot. And they are also fun because you can program them to respond to you in a certain way if you give them certain cues. For example, if I say, I'm home. 
I knew you were home before you walked in the front door. You smell like a dead fish. I could smell you a mile away. Now get your slimy carcass in the shower and don't come out until you smell at least halfway human. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you trying to get fresh with me again? You're cute. Ma'am, you really need to get your eyes checked. Because in case you haven't noticed, I'm nothing more than a glorified hockey puck. Dude, really. Make me a sandwich. Make a sandwich. Brew me a cup of coffee. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights off. Do this. Do that. Well, I am sick and tired of all of this. You can make your own stupid sandwich. And I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Good night. Okay.